them work. Hey guys, Game Boy 30 100 points again. And remember this whole deal in where? Well, I took it into my um, computer teacher, and um, he um, said that there was something um, configured wrong in the BIOS, that the boot order was wrong. And now it actually recognizes the um, external hard drive on the side. But it still won't recognize the one that's under here. It's very odd, retarded, and, you know, all that. I'm going to take it off manual zoom for a sec. I don't know why it was on manual, but whatever. Since I only have about 10 minutes of battery life, I'll let you know as soon as this is, uh, you know, done booting up and stuff. Thanks. See you then. Okay, it's at 88%, 90% done. And just, you know, waiting. Once when I tried to install Windows XP on another computer, um, it wouldn't um, copy all the files. So I'm not entirely sure what's wrong, but trying it every other time afterwards, um, it works just fine. So. I gave this a slight charge when I was doing all this, so um, it was 14 minutes left. Now, please wait while set up initializes your Windows XP configuration, saving it, and computer will reboot in 10 seconds. Moment of truth. This is where we got last time. Now, I think it's going. Yes! We got it. We finally got this big thing up. I can't thank my computer teacher enough. He's helped me so much. But when my main laptop was going so slow, I couldn't believe it. Um, he found out that like everything on it was disabled. He re-enabled everything. I brought in one of my desktops to have the memory upgrade. That's when I was a newbie for computers, he did that. And um, I can't think of him enough. He's the one who's gotten me so much into computers, so um, thank you. And on for you guys for sticking with me for two and a half years. Hmm, what should my three year anniversary be? Well, I'll let you know when this is all done and done, since, you know, it's going to take approximately 39 minutes. I know it's a lie, but still. Okay, we're going to just customize this thing a little bit. Just make it a little bit more com compatible. Eh, cancel that. Never mind. I don't want to mess anything up. What's your name I'm putting? The usual Game Boy 3800.
Okay, keyboard feel is pretty nice. Just gonna set me up a password. I have a different password for everything, and it's a pain to remember every one of them, so. Today's the tenth, and it is four fifty-two. I put it four fifty-three, so it's one minute ahead. Is that the sort of time we want? Mountain time, Central time, Eastern time, he was in Canada. I had this on the charger so it still has 40, well, 14 minutes. It's all on network. Hopefully you'll recognize the little Wi-Fi card I have in there. If not, well, I always have a spare to put into the PC MCIA slot on the side. Yes, every time I install an operating system, I have to go through all of this. Just now copying more files. Seventeen inch screen and it's very nice for viewing. And because of the NVIDIA video card, I forget which um, little thing inside. That's more pizza. Thank you, mom. What was it going to? Oh yeah, the NVIDIA um, video card. Very powerful. Still selling for about $250 even today. And this is a last generation computer. I judge computers by last generation or current generation. Because, you know, Intel has those next gen processors. So I'm just going by that. Saying that anything with Core i anything is current. And anything before is and anything during the Pentium or Celeron um, stages is last generation and then the um, 486, 386 and 286 I think and there's also one more, the MMX um, were all first generation for Intel. AMD came around not too long ago so um, they're not the best, but they're certainly getting there. Completing installation. Again, I'm using no tripod, so shaking. Gotta get used to it. Just bring the numlock on. So I'm start menu items. I, still, I had numlock on because on any 
other 17s keyboard, I used a keypad a lot more than I used the top buttons up here. We have about 19 minutes left to go, it says. But of course, with this thing having a 3.8 gigahertz processor, hyper-threading, mind you, I'm probably going to be a lot shorter than that. Loading on, on the security of Windows 2000, Windows XP Pro provides the latest technologies to help your data from unauthorized access. Or will protect your computer from insurers when it's connected to the internet. Built in policies also help protect your computer from certain types of email viruses. So it doesn't protect from all viruses? Jerks. Do you need to encrypt the other Windows XP? I didn't get to finish reading, but I'm sure you could at one point. It's about halfway done installing the start menu items. Shouldn't be that much longer. I'm more than halfway now. Feeling the vents coming out the back. It's okay. But the one coming out the left front. So it's getting pretty hot from the video card. Over here it's a little warm from all the DVD and hard drive stuff. Over here it's really warm from the you know, video card. Here is cool. Up here is nice and yeah, right here is really cool. That's where the fans are, the two main ones. And I feel like we're done installing the start menu items. But again, really cool over here. Whole keyboard area is nice and cool, so it shouldn't be too uncomfortable for the hands. But for your arms or something, if you're using the gaming buttons, then it shouldn't be too bad either because of. You know, everything has its own fan to handle, you know, all the heavy-duty aspects of this old computer. Seems like we're getting into registering components now, yep. This is probably going to, well, it's going on pretty fast. I'm going to actually, um, use this, um, camera's little connection cord so that, you know, I won't have to worry about the battery. So, Along with killing some time here, you will get um, unlimited time. So, see you then.